I am doing such a bad job of keeping you guys updated, but <laughs> good morning. I'm still in Mooresville, North Carolina, and um, we are packing up the house and heading to the airport. So I'm going to get some probably last minute videos of the house and the lake, and I probably won't see you till the airport. Simba? Does dad have the hiccups? It's a yes. <laughs> Hi everybody. I am here and I have a cat and a pup and another pup. I'm so happy to be home. That being said, my plane experience wasn't that conducive to getting my laptop out to finish a presentation that I have due tomorrow. So I'm going to do that until Duncan gets home and I already have the presentation done. I just have to write the speaker notes because I'm not actually doing the presenting. Hi, Gadget. I know. Hello. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And I don't know when Duncan will get home from work, but when he does, we'll probably go grab some food because we haven't been grocery shopping in an embarrassingly long time. So um, we'll let you know when we decide what we're doing. Just this is Gizmo, and this is Gizmo wanting my Papa John's. Gizmo wants my pizza. Gizmo wants my pizza. Why are you starting already? Why not? Hello? Gizmo, there's a camera behind you. She wants the pizza. Yeah. Ah. ah! We're gonna watch Bachelorette. First episode. Episode one. Yeah. So are we? I gonna, have no. I have no. Are we gonna like? Colon. Guess again and stuff. Maybe. We'll see how entertaining her season is. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. And it all started like this. All right, rose ceremony number one. We are picking five roses. <sighs> Who's your first one? Peter, the pilot. Me too. Peter, the pilot. Check. Number two. Garrett, the golf pro. I think, well, I know. I know Jed's getting a rose. Singer Jed. Oh, I have Jed too. That's your third? Mm -hmm. Uh, Matt Donald. I think his his car entrance ex entrance with the tractor and his song. That's that's my third rose. See, I. I he's think memorable. Get... He's memorable. Right. I don't even know if they have a connection, but he's memorable, and that gets you a rose. Yeah, I think we'll get a rose. I just don't know if I thought it was. I'm that not picking winners. I'm just picking who's getting a rose. You, but you said I like him. I did. I do like him, and yeah. I think Hannah will like him. But I don't think he got any time with her yeah. in this episode. Brian, the math teacher. Ooh, see, I think like I feel like he's gonna go far, but that's not my choice right now. Um, I have both Connors as my my four and five, 
So Connor, the guy that spoke French and gave her the bachelorette party, and he gave her a tiara, which like, let's be real, she's a beauty queen. She loved that. Or maybe she doesn't. No, she did. She was totally into that. And then other Connor was the other guy she kissed. And, like, she only kissed, like, three guys on this episode. Those those guys are getting roses. My last one is Mike, the portfolio manager guy. I don't even know who that is. He had a, like, intro clip where he was talking about percentages. I don't even remember that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, portfolio okay, manager. Can, actually, I guess we can recap the episode, like... Later? After, yeah. Okay. See how we do. Who I'm so happy to be in my bed with no bed ahead above me. No what? Bed oh, above bed me. above you. Yeah. Got it. Bunk beds. It's not that I mind sleeping in bunk beds. It's just a matter of like worrying about hitting something on something. I don't know. It was either like I was worried about hitting my head but sometimes getting into the bed, there's like a sharp edge, you know? I guess. Never mind. You weren't there. Um, but, so Bachelorette, what do you think? First episode. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I was entertained. Yeah, me too, for like, sure. Like, she was entertaining. They added her to her. Super entertaining. Um, I'm kind of intrigued for a train wreck of a season. I feel like we're about to have a train wreck of a season. Yeah. So I was not excited for Hannah B's season. I just felt like she was annoying. She was dramatic. A little whiny, maybe. And I've just felt like this first episode has been... Too good. <laughs> I love the awkward. Yeah. Like, it's so real. Yep. She says all the things that, like, you think they say behind the scenes. They show it because they think that humanizes her. Yeah. I think. And it combats some of that, like, young feel she gets. Yeah. They make her feel like a real person. But we'll definitely fill you in next week. And tomorrow we're going to do something fun. So. I don't even remember what it is. <laughs> Guess you'll find out tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, Anna, thanks for coming to the show. Ask for a look. I've been here. Ask for a